Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Seth and Coach Matt, and we're gonna go over this week's density set workout for you. So for this workout, we're gonna have four stations. We'll have two exercises at each station. You're gonna go back and forth for a certain number of reps of each exercise. You'll have two and a half minutes to get as much work in as you can. Then we'll rotate around the room two times, four stations. You ready, Seth? Ready. Okay, so station number one, we're gonna start with those rope slams. So you're gonna do 10 rope slams here. Get the feet set up on the platform. Use those hips, get that rope up nice and high. That butt back, use your whole body to slam that ball down. Push that air out as you're slamming that ball, that, that rope down here. The set says so 10 slams. The second exercise here, we're gonna turn around, we're gonna work on our blast off push up. So for the blast off push up, you start in that beast position here. You're gonna sit back into that beast squat, and then you're gonna spring forward, legs straight into that push up and back out. So you blast off here, push up, and then sit back here. Blast off, push up, sit back. If you want, you can take the blast off out of this and just work that traditional push up here from the toes or from your knees, whichever one works best for you, or you can work that B squat without the push up there as well. You're gonna do five of those and you're back to the rope slams. Nice job, Seth. Then we're coming over to station number two with Coach Matt. We're starting with our sled squat row here. So Matt's got the suspension trainer handles. He's stepping back. Now he's gonna sit back here. Now he's gonna drive through those heels and push that air out as he squeezes those shoulder blades. So he starts with those legs to initiate it, use those hips, and then yank that sled, push that air out. Notice how Matt also pulls those toes up, make sure that sled doesn't run him over. We want a lot of power on this one. We want that sled moving real fast. When you get down to this end, you're gonna put your hand through the handles of the suspension trainers, grab those push pulls, drive that sled back down to the other end. Watch out for the people doing their push-ups. And then you're gonna come right back. Sled squat row. So you're gonna sled squat row down, push that sled back. Nice job, Matt. From there, we're coming over to station number three. We got Coach Seth again, and he's gonna be starting with those kettlebells, and we're gonna do that reverse lunge with the kettlebell switch. So he's holding that kettlebell in one hand, he's gonna step back into his reverse lunge, and as he does, he's gonna pass that kettlebell underneath his leg, back up, driving up, holding the other side. Now he's gonna step back. Pass it over to the other hand, right back up. Nice and controlled here. You're gonna do five on each side here. Take your time with this one. You can see how Seth's a pretty strong guy. This one can throw off that stability a little bit and that's part of the challenge here. Now if you want, you can take this hand switch out of this completely, hold that kettlebell right there at your chest and just work those reverse lunges, but it's five lunges on each side. Now the second exercise here is our tall kneeling halo. So we're gonna go down to our tall kneeling position. We're gonna get those glute squeeze nice and tight, nice white stance with those knees, grabbing that kettlebell upside down by the horns in front of you. You're gonna take that kettlebell over one shoulder, around your head, nice and low here on the other side. So we're gonna get a nice stretch through the lats and the shoulders here as we're working. Abs are walled up tight here. Steady breathing, so deep breath in. Push that air out as you circle around here. You're gonna do five in each direction, so 10 total, then you're back to those reverse lunges. Nice job, Seth. And then we're over to our last station of the day. We got Coach Matt over here again. He's gonna start by demonstrating uh, our goblet squat. So you're gonna grab a kettlebell, or excuse me, a dumbbell, holding it right there at your chest. You can hold it by both heads if you'd like as well. Push those knees apart, make room for those elbows. Sit that butt as low as you can, deep breath in on the way down. Push that air out as you drive back up. You're gonna do five of those. Challenge yourself with the weight, of course. The second exercise, we're gonna come over to our box and do our plank three-point row. So, uh, we're gonna get, the, get those legs out the way first. We're gonna be in that plank position over the box. Yeah, so nice, strong plank. There we go, Matt. There we go. Look at, look at that arm just popping out, buddy. We're gonna rip that sleeve off. I can't stand it. Here we go. So, you push the box into the floor. Squeeze those shoulder blades. You're gonna do five on one side and then switch sides. And you can see it from this side as well. Glutes are squeezed, abs rolled up. Squeeze that shoulder and pull your hand towards your ribs as you push the box away. Now, if you're not, if you're feeling like this is too much of a challenge for your core, you can bring those feet underneath you and work that three-point row here, but challenge yourself with the weight on this one so you do want to challenge yourself to get stronger here. Okay, that's our density set workout for this week. Great job, everybody.